Hey guys, welcome back to Bluetube. I'm Reeves, and today I'm actually going to take you guys on a little tour of the PC website so you can see some of the things that are available, some of the things that normally you wouldn't ever really get to see unless you went and looked through this all yourself, and who's really going to do that? So, first things first, when you first log on, you might want to notice that there's presby.edu. You can see you can visit campus, apply, or you can request info. There's a student section, a parent section, a faculty and staff, and alumni section. Before we get into all that and all this up here, I want to show you guys what they're highlighting as you've seen going through here in the back. I'll start here at the beginning. Um, this is schedule a visit. Obviously, it's for scheduling a visit to come and actually take a tour of PC. You will be with three different students known as Sterlings who will kind of walk you through and show you and give you all the information you need. You can also check for the campus tour videos here on this channel. Right over here, PC is doing a huge celebration of Black History Month this year. A lot of events. Friday, I'm actually going to the Cuisine and Culture, which will be a gumbo lesson. You guys will get to see a video of that one, so be sure to stay tuned. The Blue Hose Bash, a.k.a. Accepted Students Day, one of my personal favorite days of the year. It's basically exactly what it sounds like. You get to come as an accepted student and see what the campus has to offer in terms of extracurriculars, meet some of the professors and potential classmates, and there's food trucks. So, you know. Right here, the PA Studies. I can't believe I just said studies on air. The PA Studies Open House, it's going to pretty much be just a general open house for graduate students to come and learn more about the Physician Assistant Program. If that interests you, you can register online. And then here, this is Say Yes to Travel. It's just kind of a little highlighting area where they talk about how much study abroad has been available at PC because it is a lot. Here you can see some featured news going through. They just kind of update this regularly and add some different things. They have an upcoming event, which has just, it's based on the calendar, which we're going to look at. And then there's the Find Your Community Get Involved section. We'll look through some of that, but first I want to go ahead and show what's probably the most important to you watching this, the student section. So, current students, that would be me, that would be anyone who's been accepted and about to come, that would be anyone who's here already, blah, blah, blah. This is a link to all of the different offices on campus. There will actually be videos being made about these and different options of what you can do with them soon. Here you can see the resources. Some of these will also be getting their own videos going more into detail about them. So especially stuff like advising, banner web, email, Moodle, Starfish, and probably Summerfellows because I think it's really cool, but you know, whatever. Next up, we have the forms and guides. The forms and guides is where really it's just a quick little link for being able to find anything that you might need. Bias incident report form is something for reporting any kind of bias on campus in order to make sure that we stay inclusive. The blue book is student conduct. There's a catalog of classes, disability services. Garnet book is more so PCs conduct and what they do. Maintenance request is say that you have like a light go out in your room or your shower is messed up. You can do a maintenance request. Parking is parking. Student of concern form is actually how you can report someone that you are concerned about, whether it be from depression or just stress or anything else like that, and someone from PC Cares will reach out to them. And then there's the withdrawal from course and withdrawal from the college. Future students, you get a little bit less, but still some of the important stuff. A lot of it's kind of the exact same, but, you know, whatever. If you look and on the student or future student, you'll be able to see that there is a net price calculator, orientation that you can sign up for, and scholarship and financial aid. Now, we're going to take a quick look at what the parents have. You can see it's nowhere near as much. It's kind of just what they mostly need to know and what PC considers important enough for them to know. Faculty and staff, this one again is more so for them. doesn't really apply to students, so I won't go too far into it. Alumni, mm, alumni's got a good bit of stuff, as you can probably tell. They like to keep a strong relation with alumni here at PC and hopefully you know, get some money, but whatever. And that's what those quick sections up top are. But I'll give you guys a little bit of a rundown. Here you can see the About section. It's got pretty much anything that you're going to have questions on. It'll be able to be found here. 
admission. This is for people who are interested in wanting to come. You can see here we have undergraduate admission, but then there's also the graduate and professional students. This will be expanding as PC, as part of their promise of PC, continues to try to expand and add new graduate programs. But really, this is the part that matters more. Academics. Academics has a lot of stuff, and some of it we'll go through, but some of it we won't. It's got all the major minors and programs, which is how you can actually declare student research, including summer fellows, honors day, and then the honor code. A very, very important thing to know at PC is how strict the honor code is. Basically, don't plagiarize and you're fine, but some people struggle with that, so to each their own. You can see where they've got the different kinds of exhibits and performances that come. You can see the global community, including international programs, study abroad, and the Confucius Institute, which is an international housing here on Presbyterian College campus. Faculty and administration, it's mostly just, you know, as you can read those. And then the resources, this is where things will be getting their own video, but it's just to kind of give a brief update. Academic advising is your advisor who helps you make your schedule. Academic calendars is a calendar. Catalog is a catalog. Support and tutoring. Support and tutoring is actually pretty important. Not a lot of people know, but through Starfish, you can sign up for a peer tutor. Someone who is a student gets paid by hourly, and, you know, they're happy to help. That's what they get selected for. The campus bookstore, which is less of a bookstore and more of a gift shop, but that's not important. Disability service is very important. Diversity and conclusion, very important. The office of the provost and the registrar, these are the people that decide what classes happen and when they happen and everything like that. The writing center, which will have its own video, but is basically peer tutors for writing and editing. And then the library, which will also have its own video. Campus life, you guys can see there's a lot here. There's especially, once you get into the Get Involved section, a lot of different clubs and organizations. We won't go through all of this yet, but then there's also the Athletics tab, which will take you to a different website, and then Giving, which, I mean... So the Athletics tab. See, if you click, it'll take you to GoBlueHose.com, and this is... Okay, well, not that. This is the actual hub for Presbyterian College's sports. It has its own separate section so that you can see all that and stay focused on it. You can see where they've got the calendar coming up of events going. Presbyterian at the WCWA Nationals. Good luck women's wrestling. But that's just something that you guys can explore. I'm actually instead, if this actually works, there it is. I'm going to show you guys here on Campus Life if you go. If you go, oh, there it goes. So, you can see it's got to try something new, make new friends, get involved. And then here, these are just quick links to go to each different section. Get involved is easily one of the things that they'll always recommend for PC. Living at PC, we'll look here at the living on campus because we do have some upcoming videos showing residence halls, which will be coming soon. We are currently working to try and find people who live in those residence halls who will be able to give you a first-hand experience of what it's like. But you can see the mission statement that they have. We can look at the residence life forms and links, requirements, amenities. Our residence section here, you can see all of the different ones. East Campus, which is pretty cool. As you guys may or may not know, I live in this one, Spradley. Then you have West Campus, which has Georgia and Smythe here, but there's also the upperclassmen one, which I'm assuming they're counting as West Campus. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe that's what... No, I don't know. Anyways, there's also two living learning communities, as you can see here. So CIH, as I mentioned earlier, is part of the Confucius Institute, which is for international exchange students. And then there's Reynolds Hall, which is also known as The Nest, and that is a Christian community, which is kind of a... Um, it's help. Well, you can see here. They have RAs who work with them. The RAs of the nest get kind of handpicked by religious life. So if that's something you're interested in, you can reach out to them here with the religious life and community engagement. This is Rachel Parson Wells. She is truly a sweetheart. And you can reach out to her and try and find out more about it. Here you can even see it has a section for the nest. Blah, 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 blah. Nest, nest, nest. All right. Oh. That was embarrassing. 
Now, if we go to the admission section, because if you are a undergraduate student watching this, you might be pretty interested in seeing what it is. This takes you to beyondtheblue.org. This is Jarius, and he is in charge of WPCX, so be sure that you guys check that out. You can see they've got some pretty fast little information about it, just so that you can go ahead and get it. This is Gavin. He's my boy. And then you can see where they've got a whole bunch of different things advertising it and giving you a better understanding of it. In fact, you guys may be able to tell, maybe not, that's me right there. I still have that flannel, in fact. But it kind of sucks they cut out the part of my face that makes me recognizable. But you know, it's fine. What is this? Gavin. Oh, look at that. It takes you to the PC Instagram. Apply to PC. Be sure to follow that. Also, while you're there, be sure to follow PC Bluetooth. What? Shouting ourselves out. Who would have thought? And that's what you get on the admission section. Academics, current undergraduate students, you probably already know about this. But if you come here, you got the obvious intro for it. And then you can go here and see all the majors and programs. These are all the different majors PC option. But they're also all offered as minors. And then there are some minors that are only minors and are not offered as being actual majors. Which, you know, pre-professional programs, you can see these are just little programs that you can run through to try and get a little bit better off. I'll show you guys a little bit of detail of what it looks like in a department. This is my major, history. Uh, rank number one best value in the U.S. by college faculty. Whatever, not trying to flex or anything, but whatever. Here you can see my history department news. You can click through it and it gives you a whole bunch more of stuff that they do. Like here is the student's experience Spain during the May semester of 2019. But even outside of that, it has the requirements and course descriptions. This is everything that you have to get for a major. And then you can see everything with a minor. And then a lot of people who do history majors are interested. Oh, well, look at that. I just got an extreme emergency alert for a tornado warning in this area until 12 p.m. Lovely. Anyways, you can see here they also have the values and goals, like the mission statement, the values and goals that they actually have, and you can click through and see the entirety of your faculty. This is Dr. Campbell, this is Dr. Harris, this is Dr. Heiser, he's actually my advisor. Dr. Heiser, if you're watching this, a big shout out to you. And then you've got Dr. Nelson, who is currently the chair. You've got Dr. Sumner, who is not a huge fan of me, but that's okay. And you have Dr. Vicky, who is also in charge of running Bluetooth with me. What up? Here you can see student opportunities. They all have this, where it's what they've done with their history major. They don't all have guidelines for their research or for their capstone. But you can click through. This is study abroad, another study abroad, and another study abroad. Look at that. Who would have thought? Well, to be fair, it is in the study abroad section, so I guess I should have thought. Research and internships, you can see they've got not only research for doing honors, which is through your capstone, they also have the summer fellows and independent research programs, and they have a wide range of internships. Down here, you can see the student group and activities, which includes the Phi Alpha Theta History Honor Society. Hopefully, I'll be in that soon. Uh, if you're watching this, Phi Alpha Theta, I'm waiting, so hit me up. All right, well, for the most part, that's going to be us winding down on this. I'll take you guys here to the About section and just kind of scroll through it right quick to show you guys what they do have. You know, like, obviously, they have all these quick links again, but then you can see short little promises, or not promises, excuse me, a Freudian slip. But you can see the short little abstracts about what's coming up and what they have available, such as leadership, the promise of PC, which I've mentioned before, history and traditions, diversity and inclusion, etc. And then obviously there's more here that you can click through and see. For the most part, that will end up with what we're going to end the video on. I'll take you guys here to the quick links just so you can see what they have is available and immediates. But for the most part, that'll do it, guys. I hope you have enjoyed this video and enjoyed this tour. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. Be sure you like, subscribe, comment down below, follow us on the Instagram. And while you're at it, you might as well visit campus. You can click there up at the very top, and it takes you straight to Beyond the Blue. 
www.ghostofthecoast.org where you'll be able to get more information and see just what you're missing out by not being here yet. You guys be sure to check it out, and until next time, I'm Reeves, this has been Bluetube, and most of all, thank you for watching.